Digital sheet music has completely changed how I do things as a musician and a composer and a teacher. Chances are, if you follow my channel, you probably purchased digital sheet music as well. And uh, maybe you print it out, put it in a binder, or maybe you keep it on your iPad and view your sheet music in an app like Fourscore. It doesn't really matter. That's not the purpose of this video. This video is about best practices for keeping your digital sheet music library safe and organized. My name is Anne from Music Discoveries, and I've been collecting and creating digital sheet music for well over 10 years. And over time, maybe you've noticed this as well, I've experienced that as you change devices and as technology changes, that sheet music library can get quite overwhelming, can't it? I think I've got 900 scores on my iPad right now. It's a lot. And let me know in the comments if you find that your collection is starting to get a little bit overwhelming as well. So unless you are super organized, that digital sheet music collection can start to feel a little bit like that junk drawer. You know what I mean? So let's work on getting more organized so you can find what you're looking for. We can help you avoid purchasing the same sheet music twice in a row. <laughs> and in a worst case scenario, let's make sure you've got a really good backup plan in case anything happens. If your iPad crashes or you lose your binder or if something happens to your computer, let's make sure that you've got a good insurance policy on your sheet music library. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I do to help keep my digital sheet music safe and organized. If at all possible, create a dedicated folder on your laptop or your desktop computer that's just for your digital sheet music. You could have subfolders in there if you want to, but have one place where all of your sheet music is safe and sound. Why? And I think that's because when you download a new, sh new piece of sheet music, for me, on my Mac, it goes to my downloads folder. I can easily find that and move that into my dedicated sheet music folder for safekeeping. Rename the file if necessary. Sometimes when you download sheet music, the title is a SKU or a number that's not particularly useful to you. So just go ahead and change the title of the file. And I would recommend changing it to the title of the song. I think that's that will be most useful to you. And uh, when you transfer the file to your iPad, that title will go with it, which is really handy. Now here's a little ninja tip for you. Um, sometimes you probably have several copies of the same title, but arranged by different composers. So how do you tell which one's which? Well, what I do is I tag the files with the composer name, and that way on my computer I'm able to see the title of the file and the composer. So you've got your sheet music all nicely saved into a dedicated folder. Good for you. Now I want you to think about saving a copy to a cloud service like Dropbox or Google Drive or iCloud. Um, I think that's a really good practice. Or you could save your files to an external hard drive, or if you're on a Mac, you could save to Time Machine. Believe it or not, I do all three things. This is your insurance policy in case anything goes wrong. Now you can save that digital file to your tablet, your iPad if that's how you like to read sheet music, or go ahead and print it off and put it in a binder if that's what you like to use. If you're using a tablet, I would also recommend that you take the time to fill in the metadata for each piece. Put in the composer's name and maybe the key of the piece. What's the genre? Maybe the level. You decide what's going to be most useful for you for keeping your sheet music organized. Now, I've got one more little bonus tip for you. And this is for those of you who might be concerned about file size. Maybe your iPad is starting to run out of space. So what you should know is that digital sheet music, the PDF sheet music itself, is really not very big. But the cover, 
can be rather large in file size, especially if the cover is a pretty photo or something kind of intricate. The pretty covers are lovely and they're beautiful if you're not worried about file size. But if you're concerned about that on your iPad, I would recommend deleting the cover uh, for your iPad file. And that will really help you save on file size. So if you're looking for some beginner tips on using your iPad to uh, view, view and save sheet music, you can watch this video up here next. And if you're some, ready for something a little bit more advanced, you can watch my multitasking video, which is right down here.